Breaking Presidential doctor made major announcement about Trump's first checkup. This is huge. Today President Donald Trump's first physical since he was elected president has been released. And it confirms what we can all clearly see. According to Trump's physician, Dr. Ronnie Jackson, our commander-in-chief is in excellent health. He also went on to add that the president's exam, which was conducted at the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center went exceptionally well and he repeated that the president is in excellent health and that he looks forward to briefing some of the details on the exam on Tuesday. Jackson is expected to speak to reporters on the results of the exam during Tuesday's press briefing. The physician, a rear admiral in the U.S. Navy, has served as the presidential doctor for the past three administrations. I feel sorry for the fact the poor man had to examine President Barack Hussein Obama's ego. President Trump, who is 71 and is the oldest person ever to be elected President of the United States has made public his affinity for fast food and disdain for exercise outside of golf. This just goes to prove what many have thought for a long time. Your DNA is what counts, not the food or the exercise, although a session of moderate exercise now and then couldn't hurt. Via CBS News Democratic Congressman Introduces Stable Genius Act Democratic Pennsylvania Rep. Brendan Boyle is unveiling a bill called the Stable Genius Act that would require all presidential candidates to undergo a medical exam and publicly disclose the results before the election. The Stable Genius Act is an acronym for the standardizing testing and accountability before large elections giving electors necessary information for Unobstructed Selection Act. Boyle's measure would require nominees of each political party to file a report with the Federal Election Commission certifying that he or she underwent a medical exam by the Secretary of the Navy, which he said must contain the exam's results. The president believes he is a stable genius. I do not, Boyle said in a statement. Before voting for the highest office in the land, Americans have a right to know whether an individual has the physical and mental fitness to serve as President of the United States. While it is necessary to take the current president's concerning behavior seriously and I support legislation to address these ongoing concerns, I believe we must also be proactive and do all we can to ensure a situation like this does not arise again. Brendan Boyle app 9822193352.jpg Rep. Brendan Boyle, DPA, speaks during a news conference on June 22, 2015, in Philadelphia. AP photo slash matter org. His bill comes after President Trump called himself a very stable genius over the weekend as questions about his mental fitness for office were raised by author Michael Wolff in his new book, Fire and Fury. This also comes as political chatter has intensified in recent weeks about the 25th Amendment which can be one method, though a very difficult one, to oust a sitting president. Mr. Trump will undergo his first physical since taking office on Friday. A White House spokesman said Monday that a psychiatric exam will not be part of his physical. During the 2016 race, Mr. Trump released medical information twice from his longtime physician, Dr. Harold N. Bornstein, who wrote in a December 2015 letter that, if elected, Mr. Trump, I can state unequivocally, will be the healthiest individual ever elected to the presidency. Mr. Trump's campaign later released more medical information two months before the election detailing his medications, cholesterol, blood pressure, testosterone and blood sugar levels as well as his weight. Last February, Bornstein said that one of the medications that the president takes is intended to promote hair growth. Since the Russian collusion narrative didn't stick the left is now desperate to take down President Trump by other means. No one has ever presented a lot to make Congress take any mental evaluations tests or drug tests for that matter. I am sure many of our elected officials wouldn't pass either test, but President Trump is the unstable one because he is actually on the side of the American people. How dare he! Doesn't he know that all that matters is to keep the gravy train in the D.C. swamp going? Friday's exam does not include a mental assessment. Some Democrat lawmakers have questioned Trump's mental fitness for office following a series of provocative tweets, including one where the president referred to himself as a stable genius.
but there was never any question whatsoever about President Obama's blatant narcissism. The same one who thought too much of himself that he actually thought the world would love the U.S. again just because of the mere fact that through white guilt he was elected president. Please share if you support President Donald J. Trump. J. Trump.